close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. And for the time being, you have no other responsibilities. Responsibilities at home, responsibilities at school. Just put those aside for the time being. Let the mind have some time for itself. Because so many times we get pushed around by the things that we're responsible for. And we need to have some time where we can protect ourselves from those outside influences. Particularly all the stuff that's coming in through the internet, over the various media. Don't give the mind a chance to be itself, to be by itself for a while. This is why it's good to get out into a quiet spot like this and then do something quiet with the mind. Just be with the breath coming in, going out, look after the breath. It's a way of looking after the body and the mind. It gives the mind a comfortable place to stay, a comfortable place where it can gather its resources, gather its strength, and reflect on all the other things you've been doing. The Buddha says that one way of giving yourself protection, giving yourself a blessing, that's the word mangala in Pali, has both meanings, both a protection and a blessing, is to direct your life in the right direction. What this means is that you decide where you want the, your life to go. What do you want to accomplish in this lifetime? We know we have a little bit of time here on earth. We don't know how much, but we do know that we can develop good qualities of the mind while we're here. And that's the best direction for our mind, developing qualities like virtue, concentration, discernment, equanimity, compassion, goodwill. All the good qualities of the mind. Things can be strengthened. Some people seem to be born with them more than others, but that's because they've been practicing in the past. These are things that we can develop. And in terms of what we can accomplish in the world outside, that's subject to all kinds of outside influences. But you give your mind the right direction, you give yourself the right direction, then life, no matter how long or short it is, is a really important thing. It's a really worthwhile thing. It accomplishes something. So try to set your mind in the right direction so that you can withstand a lot of the currents from the world. If you don't have your own direction, they're going to try to give direction to your life in terms of what they want. But is that what you want? Is that really the best thing for you? Look at the education we get. It's getting more and more geared towards turning out people that the corporations want. But is it making people happy? No. Our education, the media, that's, there's nothing there that's really designed to be for your own true well-being. The only way you can work for your own true well-being is to realize what it is and to direct your life in that direction. Look at your thoughts, your words and deeds to make sure they're in line with that direction. Don't go pulling off in other, in other courses. So think about this for a while. What direction do you want your life to go in? What's a good direction for it to go in? What do you need to do in order to steer it in that direction? This kind of meditation is important. We think of meditation often as just being very quiet, not thinking at all. But sometimes you, you need to use that quietness, that sense of space that comes when the mind settles down, to make sure you're going in the right direction. And if you're not, you can turn yourself around. That's the good news of the Buddha's teaching, is that even though we've been doing things that cause suffering for who knows how long, we can learn how to stop. It may not be immediate, but we can set our minds in the right direction. And if you stay in that direction, you're going to end up where you want to go.